One of the main reasons that some people stay in toxic relationships is because you already have so much time invested in them. And if you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I point out toxic people's traits and behaviors. In today's episode of A Narcissist Explains, I'm going to be talking about just that how sometimes you don't you do not get a return on your relationship investment with narcissists and toxic people. Stay tuned, like and subscribe for more. So one of the main reasons that people stay in toxic relationships with narcissistic people is because they already have a lot of time invested in those relationships. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist, actually a narcissistic personality disorder. A lot of people want to get their return on their investment of their time, affection, love, whatever you put into this relationship with this narcissistic toxic person or whatever. But what a lot of people have to realize is not every investment is a good investment. Not everything that you put your money, your time, your effort, your energy into is going to be a good investment. You're not going to get what you you're not going to get out of it what you put into it. I talk to a lot of people that say things like, well, I've already been here for 10 years. I might as well try to wait it out and see if they're going to change because I don't want to waste my time. You can't get back the time that you've already put into this relationship. That, that is gone. That time is gone. But what you can do is salvage the rest of your existence, the rest of your time here on this earth and live a healthy life, healthy existence and things like that. Empower yourself and I hope this helps. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. You see the title of that, that video is No ROI. Put it in the simplest terms, the business terms, the analytical terms for y'all, for the math minds out there, for the mathematical minds out there and stuff like that. Well, you don't even have to be a mathematical person to understand investments and return on investments. When you were in a toxic relationship with a narcissist, whoever you're dealing with, you, there is never, you're never going to get a return on your investment, not a positive return. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times people, you put so much time, effort, energy, emotions, like love, caring, intimacy, whatever, money, you put all this stuff into this relationship, like, and you don't get anything back. Like you put, it's like you invest a hundred dollars in what's the narcissistic version of Bitcoin, Narcoin, you know, you first <laughs> get crypto, uh, <laughs> uh, Narcoin. So you best, you invest a hundred dollars in this Narcoin because they sold you, like, they sold you a dream, right? They invest right now. Get it while it's hot. Buy high, sell low. You know what I mean? Buy high, buy low, sell high, whatever it is, you know? So you invest a hundred dollars in Narcoin. And the value automatically plummets. So that $100 turns into $1. And some people, instead of pulling that one, you knew it was going downhill. You was like, okay, I got this $100 in this investment, this love, this care, this time. I have five years. You know, that $100 can represent five years. You know, whatever it can represent, 20 years or whatever. It's time. That $100 is actually representative of the time you spent in this relationship. So you give them this. You give them this $100. You can, you know, you can feel uh, you can feel it going downhill, right? You can feel it going downhill. You absolutely can. You know, like this hundred. I'm not getting what I'm not getting in what I put out. You know, I'm not getting getting out what I put into this relationship. I'm giving and giving and giving. I'm getting barely anything in return. I'm getting the bare minimum in return. So you know, you understand that that hundred dollars now is only worth seventy five dollars. But instead of pulling it out. You keep it in. And sometimes you invest more. Sometimes you give another hundred dollars. Like maybe if I'm well, the value has dropped, but let me invest some more into this person. You know, the relationship is, does doesn't feel the same anymore. So let me let me invest some more into this person. Let me give them some more of my time. I already got five years into it, right? Uh, I got five years. I don't want to let these five years feel like this five years has went to a waste. So instead of getting out of it now in, in, in this five year period where you know you should, you feel like you should, you invest five more years, hoping this person is going to change. I got five years in it. I don't want to work on this person and build this person up and somebody else get the cash in on my investment. Somebody else gets the bit. Somebody else gets the reward for the, the work that I put in. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay in this relationship. I'm going to try to make it work. A lot of people stay in these types of relationships because you invest so much time into it. You invest, you try to build this person up. They had, they had nothing when you first met them. You have made them into somebody. Now you have something and you don't want anybody else to get your prize that you built up from scratch. Right? So instead of leaving it right now, take cutting your losses, you invest more into this person. I'm going to give him some more. So I already got five years. You know, I'm not going to waste my five years. So you give him five more years. You give him another hundred dollars. So now you're 10 years in, you put $200 in. So guess what? Now the relationship is getting worse. 
So now that $200 is now worth $50. So it's worth a fourth of what you put into it. You see what I'm saying? The value of the relationship has went down. You got 10 years in it now. So now you you even more hard pressed. You I got 10 years invested in it. I'm not happy, but I don't give a damn. I'm not I'm not going I'm not cashing out. I'm going to you no know, this is a long-term thing. This is a is this is a long-term investment. This is my uh this is my your relationship the relationship turns into a 401k as opposed to something that can take care of you for the rest of your life. You this is now turned into a 401k, something that you can cash out later on. You see what I'm saying? That's what how this goes in these relationships, y'all. You put so much more time into it. So now you got 10 years in. You're un, you're more unhappy now at the 10-year mark than you were at the five-year mark. But now you feel like, oh, I got 10 years and I might as well stay longer because I didn't spend the last 10 years building this person up, building something with this person. I'm not happy, but I got kids now. I have more stuff now. We have property together. We have, we have things together. I'm not happy, but I'm not giving up on my 10 years. So guess what happens? You're at $200. It's now worth $50, you give another $100. So now you got 15 years in it. And now it's only worth $25. You got $300 of time, 15 years, but now it's only worth, it's worth $25. You are the unhappiest you've ever been. You're depressed, you've gained weight, you've lost weight, whatever. You don't feel like you're the same person. You have no friends, no family cut you off because they knew you weren't happy. You, it's, you are super isolated. Your kids don't like you. They done turned the kids against you. But guess what? You got 15 years in it. You don't put $300 in it. Instead of cashing out right now, because you feel like you spent 15 years in it, oh, I already gave him 15 years. I might as well just stay. I'm a, I'm not letting anybody else take advantage of it. I, I'm unhappy. I don't got beat up. I don't got cheated on. I've had everything happen to me, but I'm not going to leave this relationship. I don't feel like I should. It's 15 years. What else is going to happen? Who else is going to want me? I'm broken. I don't recognize myself anymore. I don't know myself anymore without this person. So instead of cashing out with 15 years, you still have a little money left to $25 left, right? You give another, you give another hundred dollars. So you have $400, 20 years into this relationship. You remember it was worth 25. Now it's worth 10. Now it's worth $10. The relationship has no value anymore. Nart coin is, it, it, it was a spoof. You know, Nart coin was a spoof. It was fake. It, it was not worth anything, but guess what? 20 years, it looks good, don't it? 20 years together, it looks good. It sounds good, right? Now it sounds too good to let it go. I've been in here for 20 years. 20. I might as well give them some more time. I got 400 into this. I got kids. I got grandkids now. We, you know, The kids are off to college. It's just, me and the, it's just me and her. It's just me and him now. You see what I'm saying? I might as well stay because I got 20 years into this. I'm in my 40s or my 50s right now. It's my 60s right now. Who else is going to want me? They told me nobody else is going to want me. They've convinced me. They've, be, they've took my self-esteem so low that they've convinced me that nobody else is going to want me except for them. So I might as well stay with them, right? I might as well stay in this relationship, right? Because nobody else is going to want me, right? Because they convinced me that nobody else is going to want me. Plus, I got 20 years invested into it. I'm not going to cash out now and let somebody else cash in on what I've built. That 20 is worth, remember that 400? Now it's worth 10. So instead of getting out now, you, you, make, you double down, you double down. You give them 400 more dollars. So now, five by five, now you have 40 years in it. 40. That, 40, that $800, that 40 years, is now worth a dollar. It has no value, isn't that? Now it's just, it's, a, it's just a relic. You feel like you've become a relic of yourself. But I know women in this situation right now. I know a couple. I know a dude too. I know women in this situation now. They was like they didn't know what they were going through. Now they understand this dynamic. Forty years in, they're like, you know what? I would rather be by my damn self for the rest of my life than to give this person to invest any more in this person. In this person who has, who has contributed contributed to breaking me. And shout out to y'all for doing that. I mean, I don't, y'all don't understand how incredibly powerful and how much power it takes to to leave a relationship after forty something years. I like. When you understand what you're going through, when you get the information, yeah, you know, when you get the, I got chill bumps. All right, I got chill bumps. Think about that, y'all. It's powerful because people, I've heard people say that story. I've had people forty years in, just like you know what? I understand what I, I'm understand what I'm going through now. I didn't understand. I didn't have a word for it. I didn't understand these behaviors. I thought this was normal. We've been together for forty years. I thought these behaviors were normal. They didn't have all the information in front of them. Now you, they take the information. They take action. Action. Actions. I'd rather be. The, I would rather be by myself for the rest of my life and happy than to dedicate or invest one more penny of my time in this person. 
Shout out to y'all. Shout out. Shout out to y'all. That's powerful. But now, you, like, that's what I said. Now, if you have the information in front of you right now, if you have the research in front of you right now to make the conscientious decision to get out right now before your investment crashes down, you have it right now. People from the old, like people from the older generations, the, the older, the, the older than us. I'm 37. People in their 50s, 60s, they didn't have all the information in front of them, y'all. They're getting the information now and leaving 30, 40 year marriages because they want to be happy. They want the chance at happiness. They're leaving 30, 40 year marriages. You know, right now, you are one year in, two years in, hoping it to get better. And there's people out here that will tell you 40 years later, they say the same thing to you. They say the same thing two, three, four, five years in that you were saying right now. And 40 years later, it got worse. You can learn from other people's stories, y'all. I'm not gonna say I'm not saying you can learn from other people's mistakes because a lot of people don't know. I don't to me, it's not a mistake if you don't know. I'm not saying you learn from other people's mistakes, but you can learn from other survivors' stories. You can learn from other people's stories. You can learn from other thrivers' stories. Because sometimes you're not gonna get a return on your relationship investment, y'all. Whew. I said a mouthful. I just went off on a tangent, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> anyways, y'all, thank y'all. If y'all made it this far, I truly appreciate y'all. Um, the self-love journal, which can help heal you, can help you get through these times, can help you rediscover yourself and understand the whole relationship investment thing. The self-love journal is available on Amazon right now. Self-love journal. I love me. A self-love journal by Lee Hammock. Uh, you can search Lee Hammock self-love on there. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.